What is going on everybody? It's Captain Blue Shell coming to you today with Star Wars Battlefront 2. Today we are going to be taking a look at the arcade battle scenarios on the light side. Uh, there's going to be eight of them in total. We're basically just going to go ahead and hit them all the way down the line. Uh, see how they are. See how enjoyable and fun that they can be. See how well we can do. Stick with me. It's Captain Blue Shell. Well, 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 if it isn't Captain Blue Shell. And guys, we are literally getting right into it. It's Yavin 4, save our skins. Looks like we can either do Luke or Leia, which is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go with Luke because he's a Jedi, and Jedis are just awesome. The They're just fun to control, fun to be, just fun to play, you know, just like in general, you know? Like, I mean, look at this. Look at what we're doing, and then we're like five seconds into the match already. It's like... <laughs> It's, it's just, there's so much. And plus, we got three specializations at the bottom that we can use. Uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and figure those out for Luke right now. As soon as we get into some more trouble here. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there's one. Okay, so this is like a kung fu thing. One on our left is a force uh, push. So it's like a force projection there. And then we have our one more here. Let's figure out what this one is too, shall we? Oh, it's a huge, like, force wave. So Luke has two force abilities, which is freaking awesome because, you know, you gotta, you gotta love the force, right? Ah, the guy took my kill. Um, no, it's like, it's really cool because each Jedi has their own, like, special you know, skills that they can use. Some of them are still, you know, like, you know, like, force projections, but at the same time, some of them are, like, a little bit different, you know? Um, sometimes you get, like, uh, there, there are force uh, projections that kind of, like, stun your enemies, and then, like, these that just kind of go on out and, uh, just destroy them just like that, so, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty in-depth. Um, other people have different things like the Bounty Hunters, they've got a lot of cool different moves going on. Um, you can play as Han Solo, he's got some too as well. It's, uh, it's just cool. It's just the variety of the game makes it so much fun. So that's, uh, that's why I love playing it. Uh, let's go ahead, they're regrouping down there. Oh, there's a guy over here. What you doing all alone over here, buddy? There we go. I barely even touched him. Alright. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh. Somebody shot across my head there, I think. Oh, they're coming from over here. Aha! There you are. Let me light you away, my friend. And there's a couple over here. There we go. That's how we use the force. Right as soon as they're coming around that corner. You just use it, try to time it right, and booyah. We've only got nine left to go uh, in this round, so it's actually, we're not doing bad at all. And, oh, we don't even have any uh, time on this. It's just a, uh, a count. It's like a numbers game, so, yeah, we're, uh, we're definitely good on this, so. There we go, it's two more for you. And you're a pesky little bugger, aren't you? Oh, they already got him. Crud. All right, we gotta find a group of them. I was trying to use my force projection with the uh, the huge uh, area, but that didn't work. But we're good. So Luke, awesome Jedi, awesome Jedi to play. That guy just got back up. Did you see that? We really didn't down two people. We only down the one. That's crazy, man. Well, regardless, next scenario, we got Tatooine. Let the Wookiee win. We've got Chewbacca. It's an ambush. Oh, and Han, too. So, speaking of Han, um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at Han's real quick, shall we? You didn't think I was going to run, did you? Han's blaster is okay. I wish it was, uh, I wish it was a little bit more quicker on the draw and everything, but, uh, I, I mean, it's not a bad setup. I mean, it's not a bad, bad setup. At least you get the health. You know, like the hero health, because uh, all heroes kind of have that health boost, and we're definitely going to need it for this one, so I'm glad that we have that, that's for sure. Oh, there you are. He's got a blaster cannon, too. I hate those blaster cannons, man. I really do. I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. I 
Where's that other guy? We've got to... We got to go. Man, we're on the clock. We are on the clock. We got to go. I would rather a huge group of them just kind of show up and uh, come at us. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, man. And yeah, we're overheated. We're overheated. There we go. Oh, crap. So that's a rush. So one of our specialties is like this rush going on thing. That's pretty crazy. What does this one do? Oh, there we go. Rapid fire. Heck yeah, that's what we need, baby. We got another group coming this way, which is all right, because we're going to want that group because we're almost out of time anyway. Let me go and try to throw this grenade there. Ah, I can't even use it. God, this guy with the shield is so freaking annoying. I mean, our health is okay. I mean, I'm not gonna want to risk it any more than we are, but... Uh, Alright, we got one minute left. We got five guys to go. We're doing really good with Han. Um, I, I don't usually do this well with Han, so... I think it's because you guys are with me. I think it's because you guys are hanging out with me. It's just a cool vibe, so thank you guys. Thank you guys for joining up with me. With Han. Uh, being freaking awesome. Look at this rapid fire going on here. Oh crap, oh crap. We may be going down, guys. I may have spoken way too soon, guys. Oh no, 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 we need two more, we need two more. We need one more, we need one more. Oh, <laughs> we got it, we got it, guys. Oh crap, that was close. Oh man, I thought we were going down, so that's... That, that was a close call. That was a close one. All right, on to the next scenario. We've got Camino Attack of the Droids, Separatist Ground Force. I have to be careful because I'm so used to shooting stormtroopers, and now I look like one. And it's even worse on the other side of it. Because when I'm used to having stormtroopers with me on the dark side, and then we go against the uh, stormtroopers, it's just... It's, it's all kinds of just crazy. There was one time that uh, we were playing this and I was a separatist, one of the droids, and I just, uh, I thought that all of these stormtrooper looking guys were part of my team. So I joined up with them and they all shot me. <laughs> like right at the beginning of the round, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, that's not right. <laughs> How are they doing this? <laughs> It's, uh, it's just a, it's just a grief kill, you know? <laughs> no, it was, uh, it's just, it's so weird because in this game, you literally are, you know, running back and forth from, uh, Clone Wars and then the, uh, the main story and then the First Order, too, as well. So it's all, all kinds of, all kinds of crazy. But, uh, let's go ahead, get, um, get up here. I don't know where they're firing from. Oh, there you are. Hi, how are you? Would you like to do... <laughs> do I have a grenade? Good. Throw my grenade. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Teamwork, guys. Teamwork. I'm overheated. There we go. Cool. Good job, guys. Where are we going now? Where are we going this... Oh, it's back out here. Okay, cool. Come on, come on, come on. Oh crap, this guy's got a shield. Down this guy. And that guy got killed by these guys, so that's cool too, right? Oh, we got a, uh... We got a heavier gun, I guess, too. Okay. What do we got on... Oh, we got a shotgun, too, that we can use. Heck yeah. I like this one. Come on. Come on out. Come on. No! All right. 35 to 24. It's alright. We're doing okay. I'm gonna stick with Assault because it's pretty much just, you know, straightforward, pretty self-explanatory. Um, but yeah, looking at the, uh, the specialties on this, it's all kinds of just offense. It's just offense, offense, offense. That's kind of what I like, though, too, is when they give you a lot of offense, but you still have that, uh, that choice you know, to make and everything. Are there more over here? 
Oh, they're over here. Okay. Try not to hit this guy. That's not really working all that well. There we go. And back on over here, or is it over here? Let's go up here and follow this guy. Or these guys. Oh, wait, they're going back down. Well, then I'll just go around. How about that? These guys have got these boys on the run. Wow, it's it's almost like we're not even doing anything. <laughs> No, we'll, we'll be back up, though. It's all right. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I spoke way too soon. I'm throwing a grenade. Did that do anything? I did absolutely nothing. There we go. We got one. Where's that other one? There he is. There we go. There we go, baby. That's how we do it with the shotgun. Heck yeah. I want to see... I think that this is a grenade thrower, actually. I think I might have lied. I think that this is actually a uh, grenade thrower. If I'm not wrong. I don't know if I am or not. Oh, that did absolutely nothing. I guess we'll need to be a lot more accurate than, than what we just were. This guy's invincible, man. Look at this guy. I'm going to go ahead get back here. I'm going to regain my health because I definitely need it. There we go. A little bit of a health gain here. And basically, we're just going to go ahead and go for uh, guerrilla-style tactics here. I'm just going to kind of keep popping out of these corners and going back in when I feel threatened. There we go. That was a good one. All right, we got one left. I think they're going to handle it for us. I don't really know if they will or not. I hope so. Maybe. Where are we going? Okay, cool. Yep, that's... All right, good teamwork. <laughs> Victory for the Galactic Republic. And we are ready for yet another scenario. Let's get right into this one too. Takodana. We must face them. First order troops with Rey and Chewie. So with our rule, of course, we go with the Jedi with Rey. Who, of course, got her training from uh, hitting a rock numerous of times and then was awarded a lightsaber for it yeah it's it's a jedi okay we're, we're gonna play it so that's that's how it goes <laughs> all right there we go uh, now ray ray isn't a bad character in this one i don't think uh let's take a look at the specializations that we have here all right so we got kind of like a phased like force projection thing. We got a little runny, stabby, stabby phase going on. And then we've got a, I don't know what this is. I have no idea what it's doing. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty incredible. Like all three, so we don't really have any force projections that are like lethal, which is like super weird. Like that's just super weird. Um, but I mean, I guess that they're good for other things so that's good kind of stun your enemies slow them down i mean it's it's better than nothing so i do kind of like the uh, the running though all right so that'll do with that here we go with this group nice we got three more to go we got two more to go, and one more to go, and there we go. Cool, awesome. Let's hear it for Ray, ladies and gentlemen. And that was a new personal best, so sweet, right on. And ready for the next one at Tatooine, here goes nothing. It's Han and Lando, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta get out of here. Uh, since we already did Han, of course, we're gonna be going Lando. Cause why not, with the cape man? Heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah, dude. All right, let's, uh... Let's go out, let's do this. Let's get those Imperial scum over to the right here for us. And any minute, there they go. Oh, we're like in an infrared, uh, infrared scanning thing. That's really weird. I didn't know that Lando had like heat vision, but apparently he does. He's part lizard, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. He's a, he's a lizard man. That's what it is. 
I knew it. I knew that the secret was out. What is this? Oh, it's a... Oh! So one of our specialties is a smoke grenade. So that we can use the heat to find them before they find us. That's actually quite genius. I did not even know that. What's our, our other one? Is that just a regular grenade? Or do I... Okay. So that one, we have to press it twice. One to launch it and then one to trigger it. And it's basically like a shock grenade, like it just kind of stuns them pretty well and all that good stuff. Um, and then what's our last one here? I don't know, but I want to know. Whoa. Okay, so our last one basically buffs up our our blaster to do like a major blaster thing and it just kind of wipes them out in one shot, so that's crazy. That's pretty cool though. I mean, that's... Lando's got... <laughs> I, I, I actually like these. Lando's got a really good, like, I mean, look, there's smoke, and then I can see you, you can't see me. Booyah, what you gonna do about it? Now, of course, these guys can, because I didn't throw it that way, but, you know, there's that, so. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my, uh, my other one here, and I'm gonna go ahead and activate it. There we go. So, I think it kind of, like, injures them, too, but it, like, stuns them for just, like, a quick second, so. Where are the other guys? Oh. Did he just... He just threw a grenade at me. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Gotta get... Gotta get some more baddies. Gotta get some more bad guys. There we go. Well, that'll work, I guess. That guy is almost... Oh. I was about to shoot my own guy. There we go. Cool. All right, back over this way. I'm about to throw down some smoke. There we go. That way we can find this guy, too. Or maybe he just ran off. Oh, he's down the hall now. Down this little alleyway here. There we go. We got 15 left to go. We're at 27, guys. I thought we were doing a little bit better. I mean, that's it's not bad. I'm not saying that we're doing bad. I just, you know, but no, no, good work, guys. Good work, guys. We're doing we're doing better than I thought. We're doing better than we thought. It boosts up morale if you keep it, you know, if you keep it, you know, good, like you know, upsides. I think so. I I actually like this. I actually like this a lot. I like the smoke grenade and then being able to see it like right through it. I think that's a really, really good. I just think that it's a overall like a great set of skills that just work together. I wish a lot more other skills were like this, but Lando's is really cool. I, I like it. Of course he's cool. He's Lando Caldissian? Cal don't don't judge me. Don't judge me. There we go. Interested? Don't judge me, because I just saved the lives of dozens of my men. That's right. Uh, Where's the enemy? Where's the enemy? we got to get at least one. No! Jump! Jump, Lando, jump! Is this going to be it? Are we going to get it? Yes, we got it. Yeah. All right, cool. No, like, Lando's is really... Um, it's very unique. I really like using... Uh, I, like, it's it's very, very fun to play as Lando. And I mean that in more ways than one. All right, we're ready for the next scenario. Naboo! There is no try. It sounds like a... Yes! It's a Yoda. It's it's a Yoda. It's the, it's the mini wisdom words of Yoda. Ladies and gentlemen, I love this guy. This is my favorite character in the entire game. I'm just going to go ahead and just go right out and say it. Yoda is freaking awesome. In the movies, in the shows, and in the game. He's just, he's got it all, man. He's got, watch this. Like, like, look at this, right? He's got a little kung fu move going on. He's got the force projection going on, too. And then he's got, I forget his other one. Oh, it's like a stun thing. So he can stun... He can kill with the force, and he can do kung fu. I mean, is there anything more awesome? And plus, he's short, too. 
So all the enemies that are usually aiming like up high, they have to like aim low. It's like a whole nother targeting system for them. They're not used to it. And uh, it's hard to play against Yoda because of that reason. Because, you know, like if you're like this blaster cannon guy, you're just, you know, pumping it out like mid section, you know, like mid and up. Because, you know, it's basically just spray and pray. But when Yoda's there, you're not landing any hits on him. Because, I mean, he's just completely... I mean, like, he's down there. Like, you're just... You're missing him completely. So it's it's really hard to play <laughs> against Yoda. But, boy, is it fun to play as Yoda, man. It's, it's so fun. That's, uh, this is, that's the reason why I love this game so much. It's like... 50% game style and all the game modes. The other 50% is just Yoda, so. Let's go ahead, they're surrounding us. But it's no problem because we got Yoda. Right? We gotta go in back into the throne room once again. Man, they just keep, uh, they just keep coming. Like literally out of nowhere. It's just crazy. Oh yeah, 13 left, 13 left to go, uh, we can do this, yeah, no, we can do this, we can totally do this, there we go, cool, oh, I thought I seen a guy over there, but it was, I think it was just one of our guys, so. and alley-oop, look at that jump, heck yeah, baby, come on, Yoda, Ah, oh, they're already gone. Oh wait, maybe they aren't. Never mind. We got two more at least here. Oh yes, please. Booyah. Heck yeah. We got one more guy to go. Yes! For the win, baby! <laughs> Look at Yoda go. So much fun. Absolutely so much epic fun. I love... God, I love Yoda. And Baby Yoda, too, for that matter. All right, next scenario, Yavin 4, Hope. We are outnumbered and outgunned, but the odds are in our favor. I don't know how the odds are in our favor, but okay. Oh, crap, we gotta eliminate 20 within two and a half minutes. This is gonna get, this is gonna get pretty wild. I'm not gonna lie, because it's just us. It's an onslaught, and I hate onslaughts. I absolutely hate onslaughts. I don't do very well with them at all. I always get like pinned down or juked out or something stupid happens. Alright, we just gotta kinda go, you know, just roll with the punches here. I mean, that's all that we can really do, so. Where's the other guy? Oh crap. They're coming up too. Crap! Where's the other guy? Man, he keeps juking me, dude. Like, no joke. Like, his juke game is on point, man. I'm going out with whatever the crap this is. I don't even know what the crap this is. Shotgun? No! Well, at least we got him down, though, too. So we got him down, and then we were taken out, so... It's not... It wasn't that bad. I'm actually proud of ourselves, to be honest with you. I hate being here in the open ground. We have to get somewhere... We have to get somewhere better. I wish we started somewhere better, but hey, that's... I mean, it is what it is, so... We gotta... We gotta just run. We gotta run. Crap! We didn't make it. I hate starting out in that open area, though. It's like, I'd rather... Here we go. This is an area that I'd rather start out in, at least. Because there's just so much more places to hide, you know, in the beginning, at least, so... Crap, dude. Okay, so we got 10 left, a minute and 30, so we're at the halfway mark with enemies. And a little bit better on time, so... Alright, here's what we're gonna do. 
We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna try to take out as many as we can here, which is none. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fall back into the pits here. For them to file in. Because they're gonna have to file in, they can't all come in like at once, so... We're just gonna, basically just gonna pick them off there. Grenade here. Let's try to destroy these guys as best as we can. And basically, yeah, we're just gonna pick them off as they have to come in, so... Unless they come in from the other way, too. I still don't know what the crap that, that gun does. I'm still to figure that out. Alright, we got two more. We got a minute left. We're good. I mean, we're as good as gold. So no matter where we start, we're gonna go ahead. We're basically just gonna run out and just fire up everybody. We just need one more. Is this gonna be the guy? Is this the guy? Is this our golden goose? It is! It's our golden goose, ladies and gentlemen. We did good. Awesome. Very, very cool. And that's a new personal best, too. Sweet. I don't mean to, you know, brag, but no, you guys did it. You guys, with me, we're rocking it, man. We're rocking it. I don't think I've had a smooth enough scenario, and uh, this is actually going really smooth, so I'm actually very surprised. Um, next scenario, here we go. Star Killer Base. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Resistance. Who should we pick out? We've done Luke. We played as Yoda. We owned it with Han. Lando is freaking awesome. You know what? We have not tried out Anakin. And Anakin has to... We, we have to... We have to... Guessing just we have to go with Anakin, you know? We have to, man. We owe it to him because we didn't use him before. And so now we're gonna see what he's got. Come on. Let's do this. Let's do this. We got 30. We got 20... Or 2 minutes left. We have 29 people left with two minutes. So let's go ahead, let's uh, let's rock and roll. What I need to do is uh, I need to find an area in which they can all kind of group up in. And that way we can just kind of, you know, just like younglings, you know, just start. Was that too much? That was probably too much, sorry. It was a bad, it was a bad Star Wars dude. Um, no, we gotta get them into an area to where they can all, like, come in at. And that we can just kind of just start wreaking havoc on them. Where is the... Where is that person? Where are you going? There. Jeez Louise. I don't know what they were doing. Alright, let's take a look at the specialties. Alright, we got a force push, which is freaking awesome. We've got a... Oh. I guess that was a huge, like, karate chop with a lightsaber. That's kind of cool. And then we've got a huge force projection. That's really cool. So he also has two force projections. And then like this little like karate chop thing going on like that. That's awesome. I wonder if it can like cut through more than one people. This is a group I was looking for. Where have you guys been, man? Been waiting all over for you guys. Hold on, hold up, hold on just a second. I'll be right up. Let me just get dressed. <laughs> Get some breakfast, you know? Here we go, I'll be right up. These guys are annoying, those blaster cannon guys. See over here? Yeah, that's where you are. That's right. Nobody else over there. Are they all down there, or where are they? There's a few up here. Let's just keep, just keep knocking them back, man. Threw the grenade a little bit too far there, buddy. And over here, we've got some peoples. Wow, that's uh, that's an amazing skill, man. This guy has the skill of partial. I I don't even know what this is, but that's that's crazy. There's nothing I can do about it. It's the one stormtrooper who like overpowered us. It's it's Stair Man. He, he has the ability to transform himself into a flight of stairs. I wasn't expecting that. I mean, I know EA is, you know, kind of getting upgrades, but this is ridiculous. All right, last one with the blaster. There we go. Heck yeah, baby. Anakin Skywalker for the win. I guess you could say we should give Anakin a hand. <laughs> no? No? 
Okay. I could have used that as a Luke joke, though, too. I could have used that for, for Luke, because, you know, Luke lost his, his hand. His, eh, never mind. No, but guys, that was a smooth scenario. I love doing these scenarios. And next up is definitely going to be the uh, the dark side scenario. So that's going to be my next video. So uh, follow, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next adventure. It's Captain Blue Shell. I am out.